What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? John here with another Cupid's Corner with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi! What's up, guys? So every week, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship ignite those, you know, maybe puffed out flames that were going on or mu muffled flames muffled. Uh, at, at that point <laughs> want to make sure that you guys are, are, are doing the right thing by your partner doing the right thing by yourself and hopefully having a healthy relationship in the bedroom outside the bedroom your personal life business life and so on and so on today it's going to be at the table so today we're going to cover one that affects everybody Ooh. and that is eating habits so hungry right now right so <laughs> you know when, when you you have a partner, when you're by yourself, it's pretty easy. You have your own eating habits. Right. You have your own you know food and what you're gonna eat, and that's just the way it is, right? But when you come into a relationship or you have a partner, then you know you're dealing with two eating habits, right? And most of the time, people aren't really on the same page as far as the palate. Okay, that's you know taste buds and all that. You know, some people like to eat a little bit differently or might come from a different culture, there is different foods and stuff like that. And you know, the partner might not be into it, might not like it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And they kind of maybe clash about some of these different things or say, "Oh, honey, you should try this." You're like, "Well, I just don't like it." Um, and they can't really go to the same restaurants or they cook the same meals at home or whatever it is, yeah. right? Then you're cooking double meals, and it's, like, weird. So, yeah. So then you guys try to find out what meals you kind of like the exact same, and then, you know, you kind of go from there, right? If you're going for a longer relationship, then you probably will come across, you know, different dishes that you both like, right? Hopefully. And at that point, your diet's kind of aligned to a certain degree, or you might just be polar opposites. You guys both <laughs> might just eat out all the time because you're working on the go, don't feel like cooking, whatever it may be. And at that point, you guys are just, you know, you know, a whole different regimen as far as the other. Some might be into exercising, so they're eating a more clean diet. Some might people might not be exercising and just eating unhealthy as it is, mm -hmm. right? So with me and Cherise, for example, when we got together, it was really, really lucky. Yeah, we uh, got really lucky. The stars aligned, destiny was there, and we pretty much had the exact same palate as far as <laughs> foods we liked. Yeah. Um, with like the, the condiments and stuff like that. You know, we didn't put a bunch of stuff on our yeah, food. We, yeah. we like everything plain, right? So when yeah. we go to the restaurants or we go anywhere or we cook at home or really John cooks at home. So whenever that happens, right, everything's plain. The steak's plain. We don't put a bunch of stuff on the, on the steak, right? right? We don't put decorations and... You know, when I go to these like fancy restaurants and we go out, I'm sure the chefs in the back, they, the decorations is what I call them, right? So they, I'm like, can you please tell the chef to not put any decorations on my plate? And they're like, decorations? Like, what are you talking about right now? I'm like, you know, the little things, like that you like, you know, because they like to put the little sauces and make it look all cute. I'm like, I just want the the steak and the plate. Can you guys make that happen? Yeah. And it's like so insulting, yeah. really. But at least like we're both the same. So I'm like, I need two steaks with just the plate. Yeah. So I'm not the only one sitting there like, oh, I don't want your decorations. I don't care about your chef skills because no one cares. I just want my Gosh. steak. <laughs> it's bad, right? Tell me, listen, how many places have we went to? And I'm like, let's just say I don't want anything on the steak, right? And then I'm like, hey, do you guys have A1 steak sauce? And then some of these places don't even carry, like they make their own steak sauce, right? Well, I mean, if you cook a steak properly, you're not supposed to have exactly. steak sauce. Exactly, you're not right? supposed to. And if you go to a high-end steak, steak you know, joint or, or a restaurant, you know, if there's really, really high end, then it's kind of like, hey, listen, no, we don't have this because the steak has the flavor and that's right, what you're right. supposed to be eating. Right. And, you know, enjoying that flavor, not putting a sauce on there that's probably low end sauce that has a whole bunch of different things in there that probably aren't good for you too as well. Yeah, we ate, we, I mean, we pretty much ate all the, we liked all the same things. The only thing that was a huge issue, and I'm sure that nobody else has faced this issue, but I hate, hate, chocolate i love chocolate i mean when i tell you i hate chocolate i love it i don't just like it's re it's actually like repulsive i want to go swim in it and bathe in it and put it all over my body yeah so he would eat chocolate right and i'd be like 
um, you know, like, and he'd be like eating chocolate like right next to me, right? Because we're in bed, and so he's like good. eating these brownies, and these cookies, so good. and it smells like chocolate, like Diva. chocolate, like literally makes me want to throw up. Like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not even allergic. I just, it's so disgusting. I don't even know how you guys eat chocolate. It's so gross. Like, so I mean, I'm, uh, I've gotten to the point where I love him so much. I actually went into a Godiva store when they were open to get him chocolates. And I would literally have to hold my breath and like, gosh, I would wait for the register to be so clear so I could be like. I need those 10. Hurry up, box it up. Hurry, run, 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 run. Hurry, run, 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 run. So that was probably like the only thing that just didn't really like, you know, it was hard to kind of get over to some degree. But now he like eats it and he'll like, you know, swish it down with some lemonade or something. And it's like not as bad because I don't have to smell it. But I hate chocolate, right? Now, however, let's get into, because not just about the types of foods and palates, right? Let's talk about just food in general, right? And like, you know, maybe, maybe your habits. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to use one of my biggest pet peeves ever. Okay. Is that let's just say we have, um, chips, right? Or let's say we have cereal, right? Or something of that nature that requires a bag. Okay. And that bag has your chips or cereal. Now, if you do not close the bag all the way and put a little chip clip on it or close it all the way and tighten it up real nice and tight, then what happens is you end up with stale chips or stale cereal. And this is not a very good taste. And I feel like this happens in a lot of relationships where one person does and one person doesn't. Thankfully, John doesn't do that. But I have heard this on multiple occasions. And this is not just, it's not one thing. Like, another thing is maybe not tightening, you know, the, screw, the screw all the way on your milk or yeah. your lemonade or something. And let's just say you go to, like, shake it. Oh, when you guys man. first, like, when you guys first meet. So you, you don't know this about the person because you're still getting to know them, you know. This guy was a bachelor, let's just say. He's all living by himself. Me. This was not John. John is, John is like very, he was military style. Yeah. So he's pretty He's pretty neat and tight, thank goodness. But, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that do this. You know, they, they didn't just put it all in the way. Or a girl even, just being lazy. And then you go to shake it up. And then, boom, shakes all everywhere, right? And these are just the little things in life that you can just maybe sort of try to meet each other on a halfway point. Because... I mean, it, it could be a little, you know, it could be a little frustrating for your significant other. You must share these things. Like, hey, listen, babe, do me a favor and just, can you just tighten up the, you know, the cereal box a little bit? Because then if not, it's going to be stale, right? Or, you know, sometimes you have people that eat and, you know, they'll eat at the table, right? And they'll eat and, like, talk to you with their mouth full of oh, food, right? Nasty. And it's like you, you, you somehow, and this is, goes back to the communication skills, right? Because you got to communicate. Somehow you're going to have to tell this person that you care about so much to please not eat with your mouth open, right? Because just like, can you just, just, just finish the food, swallow it, and then just tell me the rest of your thought process. It only takes about like a, maybe a second or two to just swallow the food and then finish it instead of being like, I'm yeah, my day. I mean, seriously, we went out with couples where I've seen this happen. So I'm like using these as examples. Yeah. I mean, me and John just got so lucky because, gosh, we don't do any of these things. I mean, it's probably <laughs> etiquette, right? You know, don't chew with your mouth or don't talk with your mouth full. I don't. That, that, these are like don't old school sayings that are true. All these it's things so are. It's so true. It's you so know? true. I mean, that, that's another thing, you know, is. And then I guess people have different ways of way they eat, right? So me and Sharice are, are similar in this too. Uh, food separation. Right? Yeah. We don't like our food touching. Okay, I don't care what it is. I used to have the separate plates. You know, like I, the I think maybe Sharice might do a couple of things, and like Peter does it too. Like they put like things in their mashed potatoes. They're and just the they corn. And I don't still like has to that. Be, it has That's to be. Disgusting. It still has to be separate, and I get to dip it myself. Do whatever you want. You know, everybody's <laughs> different, but I don't like that. Her and myself, they do. You know. <laughs> I don't like the food touching. And, and another thing that I don't like, you know, as far as that, when I go out to one of these restaurants, per se, right? Or, you know, I order my, my grilled chicken and my mashed potatoes. Slop it potato. on top of the mashed potatoes. Why, why, when you go to a restaurant, slop do they it. put a steak or chicken right over the potatoes? They just slop it I on. don't want all the grease from that steak or potatoes. 
John all my potatoes that. and eating all that grease up. No, he I don't lo- want that. He loves and it. every high end restaurant does it. I don't know <laughs> if they think it looks cool and they want to build a little food building <laughs> or what's going on out there. A cake, but guys, a steak, a steak, if you guys are chefs, man, listen, make it look pretty if you want, but please don't top all that grease on top of my potatoes that I want to eat. Luckily, <laughs> we've dealt with this for a long time, and me and Teresa are the exact same. Teresa, she'll do the order for us or whatever. We'll be and listen, if you get we'll our order right wrong, away. Ain't gonna be good. Be right away. So the other side to this, right? So if you guys are a couple, especially, or if you even if you're by yourself, get into good, healthy eating habits. That's one thing a lot of people out there, I think, don't do correctly nowadays, or don't really focus things on. They, you know, a lot of people have gained weight. Whether it's because of COVID, because of stress, because they just don't exercise, mm-hmm. whatever it may be. So at that point, they're not helping themselves because, you know, nutrition is a little bit a part of this, right? And I'm not talking about you guys eating like bland this and bland this all the time, whether it's, you know, just bland chicken, you know, white rice every meal. No, you can change things up a little bit, but you want to get back on track of eating healthy mm-hmm. and it helps your partner. Because, you know, if you start eating healthy, it's almost like setting the example for your partner. You know, when I came into the relationship with Sharice, I ate a little bit more healthier than Sharice did. I ate a lot of fast food. So at that point, you know, it kind of wears off. Like, hey, listen, like, these are the benefits. This is why you're maybe getting this inflammation. This is why you're maybe feeling bad. You know, you're not having energy. It's because you're eating garbage food. And it's like, uh, you know, like a race car. Or even, you know, you're you're driving an exotic car or a Corvette or a Mercedes or whatever it is. You got to put premium gas in it. Put the high-end gas in it. You're putting 93 in it instead of 87. And the car's going to run better because of that. Right. And, you know, if you do have one of these cars or you had one in the past that you did put 87 in there, you could probably feel the vehicle not perform as better, as good as it should be, excuse me. Um, put, and, put, put. And put, put down the road, yeah. right? And you don't want your body to feel like that. You are what you eat. That's another old saying that mm-hmm. is true, true right? Because at that point, you really are. You're intaking this. Your body is uh, assimilating these things into your body. And it's putting on your body, whether it's fat or it's using micronutrients um, or macros to help your body perform the way it should. And that's just one thing you got to look at. So if you get into healthier eating, then your partner will probably do it or probably be like, hey, listen, what's this? Chug along a little bit. Yeah. Or at least I did. And then at that point, when they get on it and they do start feeling better because you guys are eating better. I'm telling you guys, the relationship will get better too. People have more energy. People, you know, you'll be able to do a lot better things. Plus, you can maybe start cooking together in some instances Mm -hmm. or, you know, like, you know, like I said, going to the grocery store, picking out these good foods for yourselves and your children. Mm -hmm. Because that's another thing that I think we we miss out on is our kids are eating all this garbage just because us parents are so busy because we're working. We got this. We got that. We're always on the go. Uber Eats is so easy. But even with Uber Eats. You can order good food on Uber Eats. Utilize it, but you can always order order good food you off of nice clean food yeah and if you guys are looking for the most bland or clean food on there usually look at the kitties menu yeah real chicken breasts are usually on <laughs> all those across you get all the it's kids all plain meals. because kids usually <laughs> like plain stuff right because their palates aren't developed yeah and even with mine i don't We're care just big kids. i like my stuff plain and bland and that's just big the kids. way it is i know it's going to be good for my body and it's going to be a lot healthier for my body and i'm going to get better results with my body so that's kind of why i do it right i don't eat because i like the taste of food i eat because that's my fuel and some people don't think like that yeah, they're foodies and they like the taste of this. I like and food. They want to taste that. And, yeah, and I like to taste that's pizza fun. and french fries. <laughs> that's good. It's some good stuff there. So it's okay to have some balance too. <laughs> this is balance. another thing I was teaching my son over the weekend. Like, hey, listen, if you're eating clean majority of the week, right, you can have that Saturday or Sunday and not binge all on garbage right, food, right. but pick some things out. Like we go to the movies, you can have a slushy, right? Because you ate clean and drink water and you're doing all these right things throughout the week. Majority of your time, you're doing the right thing. And you know, that little bit, you're, you're letting it loose a little bit because you're having a little bit of balance. You don't want to burn out on things, uh, you know, and you want to enjoy life. So that's what it's all about. Yeah. The, the one thing I can leave you guys with before we end this episode is, um, you know, no matter how long you have been with your significant other, just so you know, because, you know, I'll always tell you how it is. I, I can't help myself. Um, but no matter how long you've been with your significant other, it is never, never, ever, 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 ever cute to burp or fart at a table. That's not cute. 
Not at all. Now, if you just, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. That's different right. than just like a <sighs> disgusting, like yeah. you, that is disgusting. Yeah. Like you're so gross. I can't even, ew. But that was a compliment to the chef. No, that is not a compliment to the chef. That's your old school saying. That is not. And the only reason I even say that is because, I mean, literally, I'll give a short example. We were at Peter, one of Peter's games the other day. <laughs> one of his, I won't even label it so that in case a parent watches this and you know who you are. But like, you're sitting behind me and you're eating something from the concession stand and like every you know and the wife is right next to him and like every like couple minutes he's like <laughs> like burping out loud where it's like i literally wanted to like turn around and be like you are so gross like yeah. could you stop like yeah. and then, then ask the wife like what is your problem like why are you not correcting your your husband over here this is a reflection <laughs> of you you better correct it okay so just don't do it it's not cute i mean i understand you know the body how it works the human you know systems and stuff but um let's just you know try, try to keep it on the low low if you eat better, you'll probably have less gas, too, as Yeah, well. true, true. So this is a true fact. Very true. All right, guys. Another <laughs> Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. If you guys like this, please recommend it to your friends. Watch on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you miss it, don't worry. Check it out on Facebook or Instagram or even our YouTube page. Go there. Type in Type Medical Center. You'll see all these great shows and a lot more great content. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See there, ya. guys.